there, boy. Because there was one fan in um, she nursed. I um lost some hearts. Cause they fell. I'm trying to get back here. So I eventually decided to just save warp. So yeah. Now watch me kill two sculptures with one arrow. Oh yeah. And almost fully healed. But well. Alrighty, now to go fight Phantom Ganon. Alright. Yeah. Second time doing this, because... First time, accidentally closed. Um, yeah, I accidentally closed up Project 64. Because I made a screenshot, and I forgot pressing F10. Here's what I have for Fraps to take screenshots. Then it's going to selecting the little file tab in Project 64, and I ended up closing out of the emulator. So yeah. Take two. Anyways. Yeah, so this fight. Phantom Ganon runs into the pictures. And you gotta look for... Okay, see how this one's brighter than the other one? You gotta look for the bright one. And shoot it. Ooh. I missed. But he missed a me. So it's good. Alright. Where are you? Here he is. There we go. You gotta shoot him three times, then he'll get off of his horse. Also, yeah. I um, used up the fairy. I didn't save in the last episode. So I ended up having to go back and gain the bow. And um, I kind of lost the fairy. But it doesn't actually matter. Let's play on using this. Using this bottle. In fact, first time I... Last time I attempted to record this, which was, um, five minutes ago, I think. But, um, I just wasted the fairy so I could use this. I wasn't losing my fish. So, yeah. You can do this. And it will hit him. Sometimes. Sometimes it just misses, but... Let me, um... Oh. Wrong button. Pulled up my bow. Come on. Yeah, this is how you fight Ganon. The bottle. Come on. Oh. He doesn't normally do that the first time. I could have even him once. He usually, does, he usually doesn't start reflecting back until after you hit him a few times. Come on. Come on. Jeez. I got four jump slashes out of that. That was good. It was, yeah, this works on adult Gan as well. Or future Gan when you fight Gan for real. This is just a ghost. But, um. Yeah. Usually, you're supposed to use the Master Sword to reflect this back, but since you can use a bottle... Oh yeah, four minutes in, I already killed him. Anyways, he can use glitches to fight Ganon as a kid. Not this one, but the other one. But... So yeah. Actually... I could have fought this guy as a kid using a slingshot. I should have done that. Shit, I should have done that, so that way then I would have gotten the medallion as a child. Oh well. Anyways, yeah, that thing's gone. Somehow, Gan is able to talk to you via Skype or something? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, he's, he's somehow able to talk to you from here. Yeah. Also, fun fact. You're supposed to have a sword 
learning a shield when you have your sword out. So, um, one of his animations, he, you, um, sort of mess with your shield a little bit. It makes a little noise. Even if you have no shield, it still does that. Come on, do that animation. Maybe it's the next idle animation he does after the basic one. Nope. Just gonna look around again with this eyes ah, not moving. Uh, come on. Do the animation I'm talking about. He did it earlier. Yeah, see? However, because I have the silver gauntlets, you can just say that's the gauntlets doing that. But it does that even without the gauntlets. So I just, I just thought that was a little bit funny. A little detail I didn't really actually check for. Of course, it's just an animation. Oh, yeah. I just flew out of it. Time to screw with cutscenes. We no I can't I froze myself actually. Oh there we go. I landed in a oh okay. Wait, where am I? No. Thank you. Because of you. I can awaken as a sage now. I just I just ran straight through you and actually you actually get to kind of see how big you are compared to Saria now. Because <laughs> usually, because you being in the middle, you don't actually get a full, you know, you don't get like an image like this. So you don't actually get to, did I just fall out of bounds? Am I going to fall out of bounds? Anyways, she's the sage of the forest temple. My name's Saria. Sage of the, yep, died. <laughs> Now we can get <laughs> do this again. Yep. Yep. See. So yeah, you're actually huge compared to Saria, and again, she's kid sized. And all the other Kakari are kid sized. So yeah. Oh. Well. There's just something I wanted to point out as. While Luigi's just having to just spazzing out at the corner. <laughs> I always believed that you would come, because I know you. No. You don't have to explain it to me. That's something I never un Wait. Okay, I, I never understood this, but I think I just I think I just had a um Oh man, I can't think of the word, but I think I just realized what it is that you were going to explain to Saria. I think Link, without making any noise or any gesture, because this is all just part of her dialogue, like without breaking it or anything, but I think you were supposed to, Link, like, you attempt to tell Saria how you're not actually Kakari. I think that's why she's like, you don't have to explain it to me. Is it his destiny that you and I can't live in the same world or something? I don't know. <laughs> okay. I just... Uh-uh. I just... I mean, that's my thumbnail. <laughs> and the sound turned down. I want to be able to hear this music. Yeah. I just... <laughs> So yeah. You. Pew. <laughs> I don't want it. No. Yes. I don't have it. So I just go hold my fists. Oh yeah. Oh god. <laughs> so. <laughs> I just. <laughs> I don't know why. That just cracks me up. Anyway, Saria wakes as a sage and adds her power to yours. She had power. She needed my help. Okay. Makes sense. It makes no sense, but who cares? 
I will always be your friend. See, I, I, I changed that. It originally says, sorry, I'll always be your friend. I never understood that. Because she's like speaking the third person there. Because it's supposed to be her talking. So yeah, I, 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 I just, I, I fixed that. Because I didn't see why that existed. So what is this thingy? Hmm. <laughs> ah, screwed up. What are you? <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I just had to. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm stuck in that little thing because you stay in that animation, but I miss. Hi there, I'm the Deku Tree Sprout. Because you and Sari broke the curse on the Forest Temple, I can grow and flourish. Thanks a lot. Have you seen your old friends? They're not old. They're still young, apparently. None of them recognize you with your grown-up body, did they? That's because the Kakari never grew up. Even after seven years, they're still kids. And prepare for my re- um... Um... Prepare for my, um... Little story I made to make sense of Waluigi. Anyways, you must have been wondering why only you have grown up. Well, as you might have already guessed, you are not a Kakari. You are actually a mushroomer. I'm happy to finally reveal this secret to you. Yeah, I completely remade the backstory of Link's family. I completely remade, renamed, I just, no. Oh. Some time ago, before Hyrule was the country it was seven years ago, there was a war against the mushroom world. And it's supposed to say one day. Damn it, there's, uh, anyway. One day, a mushroom her mother traveled to this world to hide her baby brother and she came across the forest. The mother was gravely injured and would die soon. She found the Deku tree, the garden spirit of the forest, and had to leave the baby with him. The Deku tree could sense that the child was destined to change this world, so he decided to take care of the baby. I never understood the fire background. After the mother passed away, the baby was raised as a Kakari, and now finally, the day of destiny has come. I mean, again, I, I don't understand why there's this fire background here. You are a mushroomer, and were always bound to leave this forest. And now, you have learned your own destiny. So, you know what you must do. That's right, you must save the land of Hyrule. And you will never go back to the Mushroom Kingdom, because you are stuck here. Now Waluigi break the curses on all the temples and return peace to Hyrule. <clears throat> oh yeah, he just repeats the same first line you did. I was about to say, how long before I, you know, stopped targeting him, but... There is a way to glitch into here. That is one way to do it. Um, so let's see. I am going to get into the loading zone. See? Because... Loading zone for the great deck for inside Deku Tree is still here. <laughs> so yeah. Actually. Oh, that hurt. I didn't plan to do this, but I um I wanna see. I, I know if you go in here for whatever reason, I guess maybe if you forgot to forgot to get the um our container, but see, this will take you back outside Deku Tree. I just want to see what it looks like. Besides me flying f up there. Okay, just put you back here. And these stupid Kakiri still don't understand. I still think you really look like someone I've seen before, Mister. Yeah, they're all too stupid to know who you are. Teach me some fancy fencing. All I've ever done is tap B all my life. Well, first you need to get a sword. Now that a Deku Tree Sprout is growing in the Great Deku Tree's meadow, the forest is returned to normal. So yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to find someone who um specifically mentions your name. This guy probably does. Waluigi, I wonder if you'll ever come back. No, because you're all too stupid. 
I'm going back to my house. Because I know the 3DS version. That's one way to go into a house. So I guess that was just the thing they added in the 3DS remake. Being able to sleep in your own bed. I like that because then you get to recover. I mean, kind of like Paper Mario style. Where you sleep in a bed. Full health. Oh, I'm still almost one fan. Just leg positions. I have a Star Wars 1 fan. See you guys next time on Let's Glitch and Chilo at Legend of Waluigi, The Wall of Time. Bye, guys.